In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to read FASTA files using Python. Now, FASTA files are text files that are used for storing nucleotide or peptide sequences. Okay, so these sequences could be in the entire genome or it could be an aspect, a part of it, or a region, such as maybe a gene. It could also be um, chromo the entire chromosome or plasmids in case of micro microorganisms. Okay, now with the FASTA files, we could have a single or multi FASTA. So single FASTA files contain a single record, and the multi FASTA will contain two or more records. Now, if you don't know what the FASTA file is, or if you don't know the format of the FASTA file, I'm going to leave a link in the description box to reference materials that you could read um, to better understand what FASTA files are. And now, there are many ways of reading FASTA files in Python, but one of um, the easiest way is to use the library BioPython okay, to read it. And for the BioPython package, the function seek.io is what that will be used to read the FASTA file. Now, if you don't know how to install Python libraries, um, this is the instruction on how to install um, using the pip command. Okay, I also have a separate video on how to use the pip for installing Python libraries, and I'll leave that in the description box as well. Great. So we are going to begin by first um, downloading and reading a single FASTA file. That's a FASTA file that contains a single record. So we we'll first go to NCBI. Okay, that's the home page, and we we'll select nucleotide. And then we will we use this accession number here, NJ underscore zero four seven five five seven dot one. Okay, so this particular sequence is um, the nucleotide sequence of a gene. This gene is responsible for the antimicrobial resistance um, in certain um, bacteria strains or organisms. So we are just going to use its sequence as an example. So to download the faster format, you go to send to, make sure you check the complete record, and then you come to file, and then on the format you select faster, and then you click on create. Now you can save it wherever you want to save it. I will save it on my desktop. Okay, so um, it's done. We can confirm here that it has been saved um, here. Okay, now um, I'm going to copy the parts. Before you read the FASTA file, you need to make sure you have the parts, the full part to the um, file. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay, you can do that in many ways. It depends on you and how your system is. So to do that, let me first um, define the header first. Yes, so that we have this in the notebook. So to read it, you first have to define get your file name, I mean the four parts. So this is the part to my file. Okay, so I'll have to make sure I have um, run it so that Python knows the file name. Now, after the next one is to import the BioPython library and then the import the function seek.io. So we'll do that at a go. Okay, so we'll say from bio import seek io okay that's for the important so after we are done with important then we can now proceed um, to read the faster file so let's just say seek objects that will be the objects the variable name is equals to seek io dot read now we are using the dot read because it's a single faster. It's only one record. If it's multiple, there's a way to do it. And then you specify the file name. And then you also come and specify the file type here, which is faster. Okay, so that BioPython knows which method to use to read the faster file. So now we are set. So once we are done with that, you can just let's just say type 
basic updates. Okay, so it's a biosic record. Okay, so that's how it, it gets it. Now, once you, you've read the first of our what's next, there are a lot of things you can do depending on what questions you want to answer. So once you have it, one of the things you can check is the sequence ID of your file. So we can just say, let's just say print seek or let's just attach it to a variable. So let's just say seek ID. So it's the sequence object dot ID. That is how you get the sequence ID. So you can print it. Let's print to the string and that gives us this ID. Okay. Now you can also do more. Let's just say sequence name. So the same seek object. Now this time dot name. Okay, so you can print it as well and give the name. Okay, so all these informations are, are set in by the one who created the first file. So we take note. Now, what else can we do? We can also check description. So let's say description. Okay, so all these things are checking from information about the first file. So seek object dot description. So we can print the description. Okay, so it gives the description of the first of our downloaded. Okay, here. So that's for it. Now you can also do some various analysis on it, but let's just do this one. We can find the length. Okay, so how many nucleotides are there? We can find that, but first we need to extract the sequence itself. So you can say sequence is equal to seek objects. dot seek that will give us the sequence so we can print the sequence okay so that's the sequence for that particular gene okay so from here we can check the number of nucleotides okay on on for for the sequence so we just say length because we length sequence Okay, and then we can also print it. So we have 605 bases or base space. Okay, that's what we have for that. Of course, you can find that information also here. Okay, base space, 605 base pair. Okay, so that's what we just um, calculated here. So Python makes it easy for you to do that because Counting all of this manually is a lot of job and that can even lead to mistakes. And that is where the power of programming comes in. So that'll be all for this tutorial and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.